Hello everyone, I'm back with another interesting topic and in this video we will talk about the salary structure that is being provided by product based companies for software or salesforce roles. So let's start. So firstly some important points. The structure is based on the uh, data for software slash salesforce roles uh, and the data I took is like from Glassdoor. Uh, this video does not contain any numbers, but only the structure like a general structure and components uh, of the CTC that uh, that is being provided by these companies. And I'm trying to give a general sal uh, salary structure and not a specific to a company like software slash Salesforce roles in product based companies. So let's see. So usually uh, I've created this tree. Uh, so usually the salary structure contains three components. One is the fixed component, one, the second one is the stocks and third is the variable portion. So now we will uh, deep dive into these uh, three components. Now the first one is the fixed components. So in the fixed components we have the basic pay and then we have the flexible components. So this uh, structure I think is same for every other company. Usually the basic pay is around 40 to 50 percent of the fixed components and the flexible portion is remaining 50 to 60 percent. So uh, the flexible component contains uh, things like HRA, leave travel allowance, internet reimbursement, company's contribution to PF. And so if you know that there are two types of contribution to your provident fund, one is uh, from your basic pay and one is from your company's contribution. So uh, one part will be deducted from your basic pay and one would be uh, added uh, by the company and it will be part of the flexible components. So you can use the flexible components to avail tax benefits in the old tax regime uh, of the income tax. So this was about the fixed components. Now the variable part. So usually the variable part is 10% of your total fixed component but it depends on companies to companies and uh, so let's say the company told uh, that they'll give you 10%. But so it is not evident that you will get 10% because it dip, this part depends on many factors that is the company's performance and your performance etc. So variable pay can be provided into two portions. One is the cash portion and the remaining is the equity. So let's say that uh, what, whatever is the amount uh, of the 10% of the variable pay, 50% can be given uh, to you as part of your salary as cash portion. The remaining can be given to you as equity. Now the most interesting one that is the RSUs. So RSUs are restricted stock units which are granted to you on your joining and this has a vesting period of three to four years. So let's say that you get, uh, get a RSU of $10,000 and the vesting period is four years. This means that uh, ev uh, you can divide your total RSU or the stocks count by four. And uh, if I do 10,000 by four, it is 2,500 USD per year. So you will get 25,000 USD per year. So the vesting periods means that like, uh, basically it is a, a strategy of the company to retain you uh, retain you uh, in the company so that you will have a motive to stay in the company uh, and get your uh, stocks. The second is the refresher stocks. So refresher stocks are given every year and it is based on the performance. So usually refresher stocks are from 40 to 80 percent of the uh, initial stocks that you get that are the RSUs. So it is also like uh, uh, it has it is uh, the refresher stocks also has uh, the vesting period. So it is similar either three years or four years. So uh, uh, that is one more advantage that you get in a product based companies is that like you get refresher stocks every year. Then another benefit that you get at product based companies are ESPP that is the employee stock purchase program. Uh, so here uh, employees can uh, take part in this scheme and they get the company stock at 15% discount. So now the question arises is like is uh, the uh, stock portions lucrative? According to my opinion yes stock portions are lucrative. Uh, since uh, the refreshers with the refresher stock thing you get stocks every year and uh, after let's say you complete three or four years you get at least two to three grants per year. Uh, so that is really good and uh, that makes uh, st uh, salary structures at product based company really lucrative. Uh, that's all for today's video. Uh, hope you like this video. Thanks everyone for watching and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.